Hello guys, welcome to Security Red vs Blue Team channel. In today's video, we discuss on SQL injection topic. So we cover uh, what is SQL injection, what are the different types of SQL injection, what is the uh, impacts of SQL injection, and how to prevent the SQL injection, and one example of basic authentication bypass using SQL injection. So what is SQL injection? Uh, so SQL injection is one of the top most vulnerability which stood at OS top 10 list for last uh, many years. So if you look at the definition, um, SQL stands for the structure query language and it lets you access and manipulate the databases. So SQL statements are like uh, very often used to perform tasks like insert, update and delete operations and and, uh, and many other operations like uh, retrieve the data and other stuff. So, um, so as we were discussing like uh, for many years injection attack injection attacks were mainly uh, the prominent ones uh, in the OS top 10 list because uh, the here the attacker uh, supplies the input and it, it get parts in the SQL, SQL statement and the result often um, there is it results in a potential manipulation of the SQL statements performed on the database by the end user application and the most used tool uh, um, for SQL injection attacks is SQL map uh, maybe uh, in the coming videos we'll uh, uh, make a separate uh, video on uh, SQL map and uh, with, with some practical examples and and, and for sql injection to uh, work uh, the uh, the two things are mainly important so one is uh, the input point to perform the action and the vulnerable databases so this is about this what is uh, sql injection and if you look at the types uh, we have three different types in uh, sql injection one is um, in band sql injection and the uh, uh, then we have blind SQL injection, another one we have out of band SQL injection. So, again, if you look at in band SQL injection, we have error based and union based attacks. And when it comes to blind SQL injection, we have Boolean and time based attacks. So, we'll just uh, check in brief what these types represents. So, in a, um, so when it comes to in band SQL injection, we have two types as we discussed like error based and union based. So, in here, in, in error based attacks, the the attacker techniques are mainly relays on uh, the the error that is displayed in the web application so in most of the cases the application throws the error saying like uh, there is a syntax error problem or uh, 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 some particular column is having an issue so it, it throws the complete uh, the schema of the the query so that's that's totally wrong so uh, so if you look at the definition the here the attacker techniques were uh, mainly relays on the errors that is thrown from the database so the mainly to avoid these kind of attacks the application should limit the the data uh, database errors as much as possible uh, mainly on the, related to the schema so that uh, uh, the attacker will not get to know uh, what's what's kind of schema that is being used whether it's a, a parameterized query or any other uh, different queries are used in the database and then uh, if you look at the union based attacks so here the attacker techniques are mainly uh, relays on uh, the combined result of a statements so here the attacker uses a uh, union operator to combine the results of the two sql statements to get a single result displayed as, as part of http response because uh, the union keyword is mainly used to retrieve the data from uh, other tables within the database um, so this um, so if this this gets executed so then it's a clear cut understanding that uh, the union based attacks are also possible so um, then if you want to the blind SQL injection, so in, in, in blind SQL injection, uh, we don't get any uh, data that is transferred on the web, displayed on the website. But however, we see there is a change in uh, in the website performance. So if you look at the Boolean based attacks, so in this type of attack, there is no data being transferred by the web page. However, uh, based on the inputs that uh, that is sent in the, the Boolean queries to the SQL statement, the web page deplacement or unavailability will be seen. So with this attacker knows that he can uh, uh, pass as many injection uh, payloads uh, that can be performed or not and here the response is mainly based on the output of the web page so it, it, it doesn't show uh, it doesn't uh, provide any result from the database rather it, it shows where the performance of the web whether it's uh, slow in accessing or um, whether it can be made uh, unavailable based on the boolean queries that we pass so this is one type of attack when it comes to blind SQL injection. When we look at the other type, uh, the time-based attacks, where uh, we can make the website sleep for uh, seconds by passing the sleep commands and other uh, the time variable uh, queries that comes in when it comes to SQL. So, um, so if you look at the definition, the similar to the above uh, attack. So here the attacker tries to make uh, the website sleep for a while while passing the sleep command and if the web page is still working fine, fine after a certain duration so it's a clear understanding that the time based attacks are working if you notice like when you log into your website if it's normally taking 5 to 10 seconds to log in that is fine and through the in the time based attacks if you pass uh, let's say if you pass a command to sleep the website for 10 minutes then if the website is accessible even after 10 minutes so it's a clear cut understanding that the time based attacks are possible 
so this are these are the things which come for falls under blind sql injection when we look at the out of band sql injection so here uh, these kind of attacks are rarely seen because uh, yeah, possibly of, uh, because the possibility of this attack depends on the features that is enabled in the database of the server and and, and this attack is used only when uh, executing the commands and getting the information can be done through a single channel alone single communication channel so this is uh, very rarely this this has been seen and most of the cases uh, either the um, the in-band SQL injection or the blind SQL injection is uh, commonly used at, at most of the places, commonly exploitable. Then uh, if you move on to the uh, the next slide, which is uh, impacts on SQL injection. So if you look at the, the main agenda of the attacker is to mainly to gather the sensitive information, it could be a login credentials or any other stuff. And the second thing is like, um, if, if this is possible, then he tries to perform the insert update delete operations, um, which is uh, re remove or dropping of the databases. Uh, our database are the tables and, and also it helps to get the unauthorized access if the sensitive information is leaked and then um, then uh, if you look at uh, how to prevent this SQL injection um, so uh, the one uh, the, the key important thing is like uh, to validate the user input or we can, we can say it as input sanitization. So with this, uh, 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 one of the great technique to uh, uh, improve the, pro prevent the SQL injection attacks. Set the DB, uh, and another one is like, the set the DB controls to minimize the uh, display of errors. So the, the developer should make sure that the application will not display, um, um, will limit the as many errors as possible with respect to database. It could be a schema errors or it could be a, uh, the, 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 the complete query being displayed on the web, uh, web page. So this should be taken care. And also other um, um, other uh, some minor things which can be useful for preventing the SQL ingestion is like web-based firewalls. We need to identify the, you know, the different input that is being passed and uh, ensure that uh, db um, enabling the least privileges to the database and also using the parameterized queries this is one of the great technique to prevent the sql injection and then performing the once the application is developed ensure to perform uh, both static and dynamic testing uh, using the uh, 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 the, the available sources like if we if we say static testing then we can use uh, sql map uh, for testing the sql injection uh, of, of a website and then uh, finally um, using the escape characters in the sql queries so this is one of the great techniques to uh, prevent the sql injection if we move on to the next slide uh, um, so we just look at the the basic authentication bypass example so uh, if we look at the first query uh, which is the select star from users where the username is testing and the password is test123 now uh, at the place of uh, because uh, many places we know that the default username is admin um, for for admin um, admin access um, so uh, at, at the place of info if we pass admin uh, with uh, single quotations and iphone iphone so this will be taken in this format if you look at the second query uh, select star from users where username is equal to uh, single quote admin comma double iphone iphone single quote so here the hyphen hyphen uh, two times it represents the comment so the moment you pass this uh, in, a, in as an input uh, the, the SQL query, uh, what it does is like uh, it, it, it ignores everything after the comment. So the, that's how um, uh, you can see the third query, which is highlighted. This is how the final query looks like. The select star from users where the username is equal to admin. Similarly, um, if you try to try with a different input, let's say um, single quote uh, with space with R separated um, as the input mentioned below. So this is how the final representation looks like. Um, uh, the, this causes the application uh, query to be in this format where username is equal to empty or one is equal to one. So in this case, uh, one is always equals to one. So no matter what the query gets executed. So the, um, it need not be a single quotation. It can be double quotation as well. Uh, it depends on the, how the, uh, the, the query is set up for the application. If it is a simple application with limited security features, then definitely it would be in this similar format where single quotation or double quotation. So uh, this should be taken care highly um, when developing the application by the web developers uh, using the parameterized queries and uh, validating the user input very strictly. So these are the simple things, uh, uh, simple uh, injection payloads which uh, can be used to exploit the website. I think uh, maybe uh, this can be tried at uh, some of the uh, the labs as well if you, if, if you are using the application. Yeah, uh, so um, so this is with respect to SQL injection. Maybe uh, we'll come up with a separate video on uh, SQL injection, um, uh, the practical examples of using the SQL map and, and also the, the manual methods, both static and uh, 
the dynamic way of uh, testing. Uh, very soon we'll come up with a, um, a complete video on that SQL injection. So thanks guys. Um, so this is with respect to SQL injection. So we covered what is SQL injection, what are the different types and uh, what are the, the prevention mechanisms and what are the impacts and, and this with one uh, sample example. So thanks, thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe.